I mean, come on, I know you've heard it all. Country music, Western hats, that certain distinctive twang and drawl, rodeos and ranches, heavy duty pickup trucks, and of course, who could forget the Dallas Cowboys? So you've probably heard all that, but you should know Texas is all that and much more. And I would imagine if you're looking to move here, chances are you'll be interested in more than just the stereotypes. So let's talk about that. Texas has always been an attractive state for reasons like a good climate, low state taxes, affordable housing, and plenty to do. In fact, the best cities to live in America rankings has placed Texas firmly in second place in terms of livability, second only to California. Okay, question for you. Have you ever visited the website niche.com? I love it, highly recommend it. You ought to take a look. It lists all these statistics like quality of local schools, employment numbers, home affordability, crime rates, and access to amenities. There are so many ways you could measure top cities, but if those categories are important to you, affordability, diversity, good schools, and solid employment, then fasten your seatbelt because today, I'm gonna use those numbers to discuss six of the best places to live in Texas. Are you ready? Then cue the intro. Hi everyone, Wendy Pennell here, realtor and broker and your Move to Texas guide. Let's talk about six of the best places to live in Texas, starting with Plano. Plano is one of your largest suburbs with a population of around 287,000. Super important thing you're gonna find interesting, Plano has some of the lowest taxes in the region. It prides itself as a great place to do business and it very much lives up to that tag. You'll see office buildings everywhere in Plano. And keep in mind, where there are office buildings, there is employment. And <laughs> where there is employment, there is a shorter commute. Are you feeling that? Because I know I am. Some of the big name businesses here are JP Morgan Chase, Dean and DeLuca, and Barnes and Noble. It's also regional headquarters for giants such as PepsiCo, Bank of America, Intel, and Cigna. So yeah, lots of jobs in Plano. Plano is also rated an A plus for its schools, jobs, and diversity. It's an incredibly diverse town with a whopping 80 languages, all of which are spoken in one way or another in its schools. Yeah, you heard me right, 80. <laughs> so you have this incredibly diverse community with a beautiful blend of different cultures, and yet many residents say there's like this great feeling of community and they often felt right at home when they moved there. A little bit of housing stats for you. The median home value in Plano is right around 320,000. So not the most affordable of the six homes we'll cover today, but still not bad. Now, why did Plano make the top six? Well, excellent schools, diversity, employment opportunities, and affordability. All right, number two on the list is Euless. Euless is kind of one of those mid-sized cities that still holds on to that small town spirit. Its population is right around 55,000. One of the reasons Euless placed on the list is it has excellent diversity. In fact, it has the most diverse public high school in Texas Trinity High School. Now, that's not Trinity's only clarion call either. It's a high-ranking school and has a ton to offer in academics, specialized classes like robotics and cosmetology, and most definitely sports. The Trojans were winners of the 2015 district championship, and they're not slowing down either. Euless has its own fair share of outdoor fun too. It has an 18-hole championship status golf course. And if staying sane in the hot summer months is important to you, there's also a very nice water park where the kids can lose themselves and you don't lose your mind. There's also over 300 acres of parkland. The unemployment rate stands at a paltry 4.1, 
and Dallas is only 30 minutes away. Now, Euless is more affordable than Plano. Its median home price is right around 250,000. Now, why did Euless make the top six? Well, it's not often you can get an A plus rating for public schools, an A plus for diversity, and still have housing be relatively affordable. It's definitely one worth checking out. Moving on to city number three, Richardson. For anyone looking to raise a family in Texas, one of the areas you should consider is Richardson. This is a well-run suburb of 116,000 residents where over half of all adults have at least a bachelor's degree. The typical household brings in upwards of 80,000 a year, even though the cost of living is lower than most cities here. Richardson is located just outside of Dallas Meaning, my friend, that you get to enjoy the best of both worlds, the economic opportunities of the big city minus the higher crime rates. The median home price in Richardson is right around 310000 So of the three, Plano has the higher prices, then Richardson, and then Euless. Niche.com rates Richardson as an A in public schools, an A- minus for job opportunities, and an A-plus in diversity. Can everyone give a nice round of applause? Nice job, Richardson. Okay, city number four is Denton. If you're looking to move to Dallas, one of the places you need to consider is Denton. Now, just to ward off any confusion, just like Dallas, Denton is a county, but it's also a city. Now, as we all know, education is a big deal in Texas, and Denton is determined not to be left behind. The University of Texas and Texas Women's University are both based here. The population is 136,000, and in many ways, this is a university town. But Denton is a lot more than that. It's one of the most diverse, culturally vibrant, and progressive thinking communities in Texas. The majority of residents are either entrepreneurs or work in the technology industry. Important note here, Denton scores high in housing affordability. Its current median housing is right around 265,000. Denton and Euless are just about tied on the whole housing affordability thing. So once again, we have great schools, job opportunities, and diversity. Look at all these great cities to choose from. But we're not done just yet. Here comes city number five, Frisco. Seems as though you're going to hear a lot of good things about Frisco. It has highly rated public schools, affordable housing, and plenty of recreational activities. Frisco has been one of the most desirable areas in the state for years. Now, keep in mind, when I say affordable, that word is a bit subjective. Compared to cities like South Lake and West Lake, Frisco is plenty affordable. But compared to cities like Euless and Denton, not so much. House prices have skyrocketed the past few years in Frisco, from 277,000 in 2011 to the current median home price of 405,000. Of the five cities we've discussed so far, Frisco is up there as the highest. So, affordable for some, eh, not so much for others. The market is expected to continue to grow, so if there ever was a time to buy, now would be it. Population-wise, Frisco is growing super fast. Its current population is around 224,000. It's also been described as a shopper's paradise due to its 9 million square foot of retail and dining. Yeah, you had me at 9 million. <laughs> if you're big on sports, then Frisco is the perfect place for you. It's home to just about every team you've heard of in the Dallas area. So you know, you love your sports, you get to watch sports, you get to attend your sports events, but something you may not have thought of is that sports are also a huge employer. Healthcare also offers a lot of jobs in Frisco. Even with the higher priced housing, Frisco is still super family friendly, has great job opportunities, excellent diversity, and A-plus rated schools. Wrapping up our list at number six is Louisville. Louisville is a suburb in Denton County with a population of around 113,000. Housing prices here are on the lower side comparable to Euless and Denton with a median home price of around 260,000. 
I took a look at available homes for sale and there were some listed in the 200,000 range. So if affordability is important to you, you need to be writing this down, Louisville, <laughs> to find that price range in a suburb that also has excellent schools and employment opportunities, that's something to get excited about. Louisville also has plenty to do with lots of great parks and fun outdoorsy stuff. A lot of the action revolves around Louisville Lake. It also has this incredibly charming Old Town Louisville shopping district. The overall desirability for families is pretty high because again, we have high rankings in those usual suspects public schools, health and fitness, jobs, livability, diversity, and commute. Now granted, like I said earlier, there are probably a hundred and one different ways to compare cities. For some, it may be all about the commute. For others, it may be entertainment and a bustling nightlife. Others still may want a good place to retire or even a rural community. Affordability may not matter much to you at all, but for others, it may be super important. In any event, in these top six, I've given you excellent schools, diversity, employment, and affordability. So, what do you think? What are you looking for in a house? What are the most important things in your home search? Post a comment below. I think it could be pretty fun to see what folks are looking for in Texas. While you're doing that, don't forget to come around and visit more often. Hit the subscribe button, click on that little bell, and don't be a stranger. Thanks so much for watching and have a great day.